Hey guys, leo tumeamua ku get dirty like ritual. Hey, get dirty. Hey, wakikuyu. <laughs> LR. Hapo imeleta shida. Anyway, leo tuko kwa crow. We have come to see how strawberry farming is done. According to reports za WHO, wanasema agriculture is the next big thing. Tutakuona are they telling us the truth or not? So, karibuni sana. Let's see how it's done. Also, thank you so much for kutufikisha 1000 subscribers. We are on the road to 10k. Remember to subscribe, share, watch, comment. Kuja na mbogi tukifika 10k subscribers kutakuwa na giveaways. So don't miss out. Come with me as we do this. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning too. Uko aje? Niko mzima kabisa. I'm so I'm so happy to meet you. Tumekuwa tukiongea kwa simu baada tujapatana. Okay. Uh -huh. So mimi ndio naitwa Nimrod. Uh -huh. My name my, my name is Nimrod Mwenda. Uh -huh. mm, initially I was an agronomist in Nairobi uh -huh. and and also in Tanzania I have done citrus. Now, uh -huh. now I decided to come to start farming. Wow. So I uh -huh. when I came I started with ash avocado. Uh -huh. Eventually I started I I, I, I baada ya kuanza ash avocado niliendeleza nika nikaongeza strawberries but now kwa strawberry nikatafuta wakulima huko nje wenye sasa wanalima then wana supply mahali nilikuwa nimetafuta order so but for ash avocado ziko kwa farm na pia strawberry i have the strawberries also in the farm so i'll just welcome you we go to the farm maybe i'll show you more about strawberries and about the ash avocado oh thank you I said to look at kusu strawberries, but now we are very lucky to talk about strawberries and avocado. So karibuni. Okay, so karibuni kwa shamba some pamoja. Is it ready? Mr. Mwenda, thank you so much for welcoming us to your strawberry farm. Uh ha. Today we want to learn like what inspired you to start strawberry farming. Okay, initially, uh -huh. when I when I started farming, uh -huh. I, I didn't I didn't have strawberries in mind. Uh -huh. Me, I thought of farming avocados. Uh -huh. But after six months of farming, uh -huh. nili kuja kuelewa, nikakuta nime pesa imeisha. Uh -huh. Ile pesa nilikuwa na ya kusustain shamba, uh -huh. na si, si ingeweza kulima, si, si ingeweza kujiweka kama mkulima na nimitu ni kwa na familia. Uh -huh. Mimi ni kwa na bibi, uh -huh. na ni kwa na watoto. Uh -huh. So, mpaka ninge... Ninge, ninge, ninge taka nipate kitu ya kunisaidia uh -huh. kuweza kuji, kujimudu uh -huh. so that's when i visited logita farm uh -huh. nilienda nikanunua I, 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 in mind uh -huh. nilikuwa najua vile strawberries zinafaa kwa farm uh -huh. so nilifikiri ile kitu itakuwa inaweza kunisustain nikakuta strawberries uh -huh. kwa akili uh -huh. nikakuta strawberries nitakuwa nauza one panet uh -huh. nitakuwa na, nikitengeneza a panet uh -huh. nitakuwa nauza like 12 panets in a day uh -huh. na nikizo 12 panets in a day uh -huh. two, two of the panets Mr. Meat cost ya transport na kila kitu, then nitabaki na 1,000 shillings, then nitanisaidia kujisustain mimi mwenyewe, na pia kusustain farm ya avocado. So that's when nilifikiria, wacha ni yanze kulima avocado, nini wacha ni yanze kulima strawberry, nilienda logita farm, nikaenda nikachukua seed drinks, first nilichukua seed drinks za, nilichukua seed drinks worth 10,000 shillings, one seed drink, by then walikuwa nauza na 30 shillings, za chandra, this is the chandra F1, walikuwa nauza na 30 shillings, so, wakati nilikuja nayo nikazipanda and they did very well but within no time apart from kuza hiyo matunda peke yake mm -hmm. this is the chandra fun fruits mm -hmm. unakuta matunda yenyewe inakonga ni tasty na very sweet mm -hmm. so apart from ku apart from kuza matunda yenyewe in, in panes mm -hmm. nilikuta hata watu walikuwa interested wakaanza kununua even the seedlings mm -hmm. so that way mm -hmm. nilikuwa nauza both the fruits and the seed drinks. Mm -hmm. Na nikaona kumbe ni biashara mzuri. Vile nilikuwa nafikiria mambo ya ku ya kuwa natokea naenda na fanya hawking. Mm -hmm. na, 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 naenda nafanya hawking ya panets kama between 10 to 15 panets. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapo nilianza sasa kuona matunda yameendelea kuongezeka, mm -hmm. wakulima wakaongezeka. Mm -hmm. So nikaanza pia kutafuta orders some some big orders. Mm -hmm. Mahali nitakuwa na supply matunda yangu mm -hmm. na wale wakulima wenye nimeuzia seed drinks. Eh so unapatanga kitu kama strawberry, sika kitu kama maize ambayo yeah. ukisha harvest una unaeka for some time whether kuna market or not. Yeah. Strawberry ni perishable. So how do you una, una, una market aje? 
Unajua kwa, kwanza okay narudia kwa pane kwa market mm-hmm. unajua kwanza mm-hmm. ndio market ya strawberry patikane mm-hmm. kitu kwanza it has to be very clean mm-hmm. haifai kuwa na mchanga mahali yote mm-hmm. so ndio unaona kwanza mm-hmm. kwa hizi strawberry kwa suspended things ama to try improvise hizi mm-hmm. cement bags mm-hmm. cement bags zinakuwa ni kama tunazi instead of planting bags because mm-hmm. planting bags planting bag moja mm-hmm. inakuanga ni 30 shillings mm-hmm. lakini cement bag mm-hmm. you can just source it locally uh, so okay. unakuta mm-hmm. tuna prefer kupanda kwa the cement bag mm-hmm. ama kwa the rest stains mm-hmm. bora tu mm-hmm. matunda ikiwa suspended is well, yao matunda inakuwa suspended duku mm-hmm. isikuwa inagusana na mchanga mahali yote mm-hmm. so once to make kwa panet mm-hmm. ikuwe clean matunda yenye matunda ikiwa mzuri mm-hmm. inajiuzanga yenyewe mm-hmm. so unakuta sasa market inapatikana mm-hmm. but sasa to start to start with mm-hmm. strawberry inakuwa ni rahisi sana kulima cuz ukishakuja na kama miaka moja kama aka mm-hmm. ukuje upande mmea moja mm-hmm. unajua hii mmea moja mm-hmm. utaipanda then after some time after, as, as it starts producing the fruits mm-hmm. pia utakuta inatoa hizi vitu tunaita lanas these are the runners mm-hmm. so ee runners mari mm-hmm. mari naenda mm-hmm. kama like now this one let, let, me, let me show you this one mari mm-hmm. naenda mm-hmm. kwa inaenda ina ikiguza chini inatoa mizizi mm-hmm. so ikitoa mizizi mm-hmm. ah karana kana kwa another seedling oh. so unaweza kuja u practice this one na u practice nyingine mm-hmm. unabaki na like now this one mm-hmm. ubaki na ikiwa mmea sio kama hii sasa these are new these are new plant mm-hmm. but now we have the primary mm-hmm. and the secondary plants mm-hmm. sana sana ukitaka kuongeza strawberries ikiwe mingi sana mm-hmm. unaweza tumia the secondary land Mm-hmm. but sasa ukitaka za kutoa matunda mm-hmm. from the, the mother stem mm-hmm. wewe tunatumia the the, the first mm-hmm. the first lanas mm-hmm. ndio tunaita the primary lanas mm-hmm. ndio inatumikanga sana mm-hmm. another way of propagating strawberry kwa nini nasema iko rahisi kulima mm-hmm. mmenye ukipanda hivi mara ya kwanza wewe mm-hmm. wewe ina spread in, in a spread mm-hmm. na karibu kuangalia mmenye mimi spread hapa karibu kama hii like this one Sina kama hii iko mmea moja sasa mm-hmm. ime ime spread katoka kwa mmea tatu. Mm-hmm. So wakati unaenda kupanda the next time mm-hmm. utaapproof yote mm-hmm. uigawanye. Mm-hmm. Uigawanye iko mmea tatu. Mm-hmm. So unaanza in a short time mm-hmm. uko na mmea kama let's say like now mtu akuja achukue mmea kama 100. Mm-hmm. Within a very short time mm-hmm. utakuta mtu akona a full farm yenye ime just strawberries. Juba do una propagate na lanas mm-hmm. na pia the spread. Mm-hmm. Then another thing about strawberries mm-hmm. you don't need to spray anything. They are, they are just done organically. Are oh, you serious? Strawberries are never sprayed. Mm-hmm. You, you don't spray any chemical. <laughs> like in, I, I think that that is for the Chandra variety. Mm-hmm. Chandra, there's the Chandra F1, mm-hmm. Chandra Giant, mm-hmm. and there's also the, the there's another local variety you call the Pajora. Mm-hmm. You also don't spray. Mm-hmm. And then there's this one. There's the the Woodland. Even the Woodland you don't spray. For mm-hmm. for the, for the four varieties mm-hmm. you don't you don't make any. This is not to organic. So kwa hiyo unahitaji nini? You you unahitaji tu just manure mm-hmm. hakuna fertilizer juu. Ukiweka fertilizer kama sasa sasa tumi ukuje uweke some chemical tuseme nitrogenous fertilizer hapa hivi. Mm-hmm. Utakuta instead ya kuzaa matunda mm-hmm. forage ju inakuwa mingi. Oh. Kich, kichaka inakuwa kubwa mm-hmm. lakini at the expense of matunda. Mm-hmm. Matunda inakuwa hakuna matunda mingi. Unyamjui forage ni nini ni hizo manini? Hii majani. Hii majani majani. Hii this is the forage. Uh-huh. This is now the forage. Uh-huh. So it, it will cost instead instead you have to produce hizi hizi ni ni zinatoa matunda, uh-huh. unakuta inatoa majani ndio inakuwa mingi. Majani ndio mingi. Yeah. So nini unapata for most most crops zenye unapanda, unaambia ngwa kuna hii space for yeah. for the crops. Yeah. Kwa nini kwa strawberry kuna kuangana hiyo? strawberry unajua sasa hizi mm-hmm. ukipanda kwa kwa raised beds mm-hmm. ama kwa kwa, kwa planting bag hiyo mm-hmm. unajua hakuna ili ili spacing unafuatia mm-hmm. just from one, one, one foot one, one plant to another mm-hmm. inafaa kuwa ni one feet mm-hmm. but sasa ina alternate ina ina alternate hivi but with, with some time mm-hmm. utaona ni kama imekuwa cramps yeah. juu the runner space zina mea huko mm-hmm. na pia hizo ni hiyo spread space zina zinajiongeza zinaongezeka yeah so uh-huh. Yeah. So tukie tukieka hii plant hapa mm-hmm. ina grow after how long? So strawberry wakati umepanda strawberry mara ya kwanza mm-hmm. inachukua 45 days. 45 days mm-hmm. uko kwa market. Mm-hmm. But sasa uko umepanda matunda ya kwanza mm-hmm. tuna kama for, for example wacha ni kupe na estimate ya 100 100 stems. Mm-hmm. Ukipanda 100 stems mm-hmm. you expect to get two panets mm-hmm. after the 45 days. Mm-hmm. But the more the most strawberries in end in endelea kukaa zinaendelea ku spread mm-hmm. the more zina spread mm-hmm. the more production inaingia. Mm-hmm. So after basically after tuseme kama 3 months 3 mm-hmm. months utakuwa umefika maximum production mm-hmm. ambapo unapata average mm-hmm ambapo unapata average mm-hmm. unapata average ya unapata average ya let's say like 10 panels mm-hmm. 
hiyo ni zikiwa zimemaliza 3 months 3 months sasa 3 months uh-huh. so na kuwa na the 10 panels uh-huh. every panel is retailing at a cost of 100 shillings uh-huh. so so unaona yeah, at, 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 at 3 months uh-huh. utakuwa umefika mahali unapata 1000 uh-huh. 1000 shillings uh-huh. from the the 100 stems yenye ulianzia nazo uh-huh. na pia usisahau hiyo uh-huh. mimea itakuwa bado inakutolea the runners uh-huh. na pia the spreads Mm. Na, na kuna utakuta demo demo pia mkulima akikuja anunua kwa kwako kwa strawberries mm-hmm. akienda apande kwake mm-hmm. apart from kuuza matunda mm-hmm. unakuta pia wakulima wengine wanakujia the seedlings bado kwake oh. so and one seedling mm-hmm. ngoso at a cost of 20 shillings eh size ka seedling kama kuuzia mtu sasa ukiona uzia mtu mwingine mm-hmm. inakuwa ni 20 bob mm-hmm. so that, that is it alafu nikuulize hizi nini hizi seedlings mm-hmm. kuna mali nafika zinaacha ku produce No 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 no. Uh-huh. Strawberries once you make up it can stay up to 3 years. But you can you can enter to produce. Like if I marry you 3 years, I won't ya to tupe. Unangoa, una spread. Then una ipanda bado. Una ipanda tena. Una ipanda tena. So strawberry to same compared to nyanya because hizo mbili ukisema strawberry na compare na nyanya. So strawberry is better because nyanya una Una just strawberry. This a high value crop. Strawberry is a high value crop. Again it requires a minimal space mm-hmm. see si kama tomatoes mm-hmm. so with a small space mm-hmm. you can make more, more on strawberries mm-hmm. now the challenge is mm-hmm. ukipanda una in open field mm-hmm. unaweza kuwa na challenge ya birds mm-hmm. so you need a, sh- a bird net Uh-huh. Lakini kama ni within the homestead hii uh-huh. ya kunanga shida na na ndege. Na ndege. Alafu alafu uh-huh. pia kitu kingine uh-huh. kuna shida nyingine na strawberry uh-huh. they are highly perishable. Uh-huh. So you, once you are, you are wakati unazivuna uh-huh. kama ni za export uh-huh. they should be half life half life ni kama hii. Kama hii. This ones are the, the, the other ones you take for export uh-huh. they are half life. But kama ni ya consumption uh-huh. you need you need the fruit that is fully fully ripened uh-huh. kama hii. So na kama iko free ripen. Oh, eh, Imeiva yote. Imeiva yote kabisa. Mm-hmm. So hii sand inaweza kuwa inaweza ina brand. Mm-hmm. Inaweza in, kuwa brand ya kufanya the puree mm-hmm. ama hiyo puree sand inaweza tumia kufanya jam. Mm-hmm. Inaweza tumika kufanya uh, kama unajua kuna watu wanapenda ile banana strawberry nini nini cakes ama gani. Ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Kuna kuanga na. Mm-hmm. Una, una, okay, the products zenye unaweza tumia mm-hmm. unaweza fanya iko ni hiyo jam. Mm-hmm unaweza fanya juice na yenyewe unaweza tumia kwa yogurt ama unaweza tumia smoothies so okay vile tukotu vile tukotu nasema tukwa kwangu hapo hii sasa kuna like now this 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 another farm hapa ni kwa mkulima mkulima mwingine sasa anaitwa mama Ken so mama Ken karibu sasa hapa kwa hii shamba yake pia yeye tunafanya na yeye ako na two different varieties of strawberries uh-huh. atamuelezea pia na, na ataongea kuhusu kidogo kuhusu mambo ya strawberry pia yeye amekuwa mkulima kwa muda so, uh-huh. karibu mama Ken karibu sana uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. kwa mazina naitwa Gladys Motegi hapa ni kwangu na wakaribisha asante mimi ni mkulima wa strawberry uh-huh. tunafanya kazi na mwenda uh-huh. na strawberry ukulima wa strawberry ni kazi nzuri sana. Mm-hmm. Aso kwa vijana wale wamemaliza shule, wanaona hawana kazi, wanasumbuka hata wengine waenda ku, kujiaribu kunywa pombe na kujinyonga. Mm-hmm. Strawberry iko very simple. Mimi sina shamba kubwa. Mm-hmm. Sisi na mzee, mimi na mzee wangu tuliamua kuweka hizi bili because hizi zinachukua strawberry mingi na kazi yake ni rahisi. Mm-hmm. Kama sasa niliamka kitambo one hour ninazipalilia na ninaenda kazi zingine. So strawberry ni very very simple kuzikulima strawberry na kuuza si lazima utarget kupeleka ngambo. Hata huku locally mm-hmm. watu wanapenda strawberry. Kama mimi zangu azitoshi kuna watu kwenye town yetu inaitwa Chogoria wanatengeneza juice ya strawberry, kuna wale wanatengeneza yogurt so azitoshi that is why tunaungana na kama mwenda na, mw, na wengine na wengine tutoe production ya kutosha juu zangu zikiisha tunanunua kwa okay. eh. so unasema mtu akitaka kuweka hii biashara ya strawberry I go ahead without any doubt yes eh. aendele eh. kwanza ni chakula eh. <laughs> biashara ya chakula haiwezi kosa market eh. na strawberry ni kitu mzuri mm-hmm. hata kwa mwili na sasa wengi hatujajua maana wake it is very good mm-hmm. na ni kitu ambacho kinasaidia yeah. na ni kitu ambao unaweza tegemea for example mtoto wangu alimaliza university nikamwambia asijisumbue mm-hmm. 
tuendelee na huku lima eh, na naupenda sana eh. so ninafurahia mambo ya strawberry eh. na imalizi wakati na imalizi shamba <laughs> so shamba inahitajika space tu kidogo labor kidogo unaweza fanya shughuli zingine as you farm strawberries kabisa kama hii nimeweka story garden 15 mm-hmm. Hapa tunakuja na watoto wangu niko na watoto wawili Elizabeth na Kenan mm-hmm. tunakuja asubuhi sana by saa tatu tumemaliza mm-hmm. mimi niko na kazi zingine chogori anaenda na wawacha uh-huh. hivyo tu very simple uh-huh. bora manyua na maji manyua maji peke yake na a lot of ah so oh. itaje a lot of things hapana uh-huh. wakati ziko na runners vile mwenzangu amesema uh-huh. mnakuja asubuhi mnazitoa uh-huh. hizo runners mnapanda tena uh-huh. so strawberry ni kitu aina west uh-huh. eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys as you have had strawberry ni very simple to do ukwe tu na manyua na maji na pia ukwe na hiyo hiyo kutaka ku learn just that So, One thing before ufunge uh-huh. kuna kitu nitakuwa naambia wakulima wenzangu jua hata mimi ni mkulima uh-huh. unajua to get to get maximum profit kutoka kwa farm uh-huh. you need to to, to 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 make yourself one rule put usiweke pesa kwa shamba uh-huh. wacha, wacha pesa itoke kwa shamba ikikuja kwa mfuko uh-huh. isitoke kwa mfuko ikienda kwa shamba once you've done the initial investment kama saizi venye hii hii nini hii multi kitchen nimetengenezwa uh-huh. once umefanya the initial nini investment Usifanye ile biashara ati kila wakati utahitaji dawa unaweka hapo mm-hmm. kila wakati unahitaji watu wa kuspray kila wakati hiyo itakuwa ni pesa ndio una unarudisha hiyo shamba itakuwa ina kunyang'anya profit yenye saa ingekuwa ndio inakujenga mm-hmm. yeah then kuna ile kitu kingine nilikuwa nimesema tutazungumzia ah oh haya yeah. karibu tusahau huyo guy yeah. ni consultant anafanya yeah. consultancy ya strawberries na pia ya avocado so anaweza maybe guzia kidogo okay so mm-hmm nilikwambia kwa avocado mm-hmm. kwa avocado wa tuna wakati okay mtu mwenye amepanda zake kutoka kwa shamba mm-hmm. hizo nilikwambia huwa tuna tunamsaidia na some agronomy support mm-hmm. kama anahitaji spray programs kama anahitaji okay from the spray programs to crop husbandry vitu zote kwa shamba hizo tunawasaidia then for the strawberry hizi tunaenda as far as other market tunasaidia mpaka market then kuna kitu kingine tunafanya kwa avocado wenye wako na less than 23 unakuta ni vigumu ku access market. So huwa tunachukua hizi ile avocado tunaweza zikiwa pamoja. Mm-hmm. So we market them together with the with zetu zenye zinakuwa ziko mingi. Mm-hmm. Then but for the strawberry ina, inakuwa ni rahisi juu mpya mtu venye mama Kenya anasema hapa mtu anaweza pia fikiria aji ajiuzie zake kidogo kidogo kwa watu mm-hmm. ama pia ukitaka ku supply kwa the main market mm-hmm. pia iko. Yeah. Na iko ready available na ni kubwa. Ninaweza yeah sema hivi youth hakuna kazi ile tunaita white collar job wengi wanaona kama ukulima sio kazi ningeomba tu waungane hata kama ni vikundi ya youth watano watano ama kumi waweze kufanya kazi kama hii inaweza kuwasaidia na hii kazi sio expensive ni kitu pesa tu kidogo hata kama uko na 50000 itakupea pesa nyingi kwa hivyo naomba tafadhali wasikae nyumbani wakisema kazi hakuna kazi iko nyingi wao ndo wanapata kufanya eh wao labda hawajui <laughs> na kama hawajui wanaweza kuja tuwafundishe <laughs> ukitaka kuniona unaweza nipata chogoria <laughs> chogoria na phone number maybe eh namba yangu ni 0725 52 59 03 kwa viewers tafadhali msubscribe kwa hii channel ili muweze kujua mambo ya ukulima na muweze kujinasua kwa umaskini. Asante mam kwa kutukaribisha in your farm. Actually mimi sijaiona strawberries zimepandwa in this way. Uh, it's very impressive with a small space. Like as you have seen unaweza panda a lot of strawberries na kuleta income. Thank you so much Mwenda and kutuonyesha kwenye tuna za toa market tunajua kupanda it's one thing lakini kupata market might be hard for some people so tumeshukuru sana youth come to me here we farm to live because ukulima ni pesa we don't wait for wait for job sindio so thank you so much for watching please remember to share subscribe and comment also kama uh, unataka to feature your story include it in the comment section na pia tulimi hi